Hey everybody and welcome to Tip Tuesday. What we're going to talk about today is doubling up our longer necklaces. So for example, perhaps um, the outfit that you're wearing, a lot of times you don't need the length to it, um, doesn't work with your neckline, um, and you need something that's maybe shorter or just a slightly chunkier. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to double them up. I mean, honestly, there's so many different ways you can double them up. Um, this is a simple example. This is really simple necklace. It has some um, color to it. Okay. Um, and I just feel like, oh, just by itself, maybe it's just not enough for what I want. So I'm going to do the simple loop around and double it up just like this, right? Okay. So this is an easy way to double it up. Um, this is probably the simplest way everyone probably uses. Um, and the nice thing about it is that you can kind of play with it, shorten it, lengthen, um, one side over the other you know you guys have seen me demonstrate this um already you can do like a choker style and make one longer and one super short right now but what if you kind of want it relatively the same length or um, once you create the effect you want you don't want it moving around well the easy thing is is once you have it doubled around your neck okay um you're gonna find where your hook end is where here is my hook end right and you're going to keep it hooked, but then you're just going to hook the other layer of the necklace. Okay, so once I do that, I find a little spot to hook it into. This one is really tiny, might not work on this one. Mm. Let's see. There we go. Just hook it in, and then it's not going to slide on you, and it'll stay in place. Okay. Um, another thing you can do, I gotta unhook it. I'm gonna show you guys different styles, okay? Unhook the whole, whole thing. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys different style. So this next style, it creates a totally different look. Obviously, this one's really simple, um, straightforward. Um, with this piece, this next one though, it has lots of charms to it. Okay. So they all dangle down again. We're going to just, you know, loop it around. Maybe my head's too big for that, I guess, <laughs> or the necklace isn't too long or my earrings are in the way. Either way, we're just going to go ahead and loop it around this way and connect it. Right. Which is what we normally do. But once we find the length we want, Okay, if we want it to be the same length, um, which is about right there, um, we're going to hook right this end again to the middle portion there. So again, it's not going to move on you at all um, whatsoever. So if I pull one side, the rest is going to come with it. Okay, so it's very stationary. So you want to make sure you hook in that other the other side of the necklace. Now, if I wanted to make one shorter and one longer, okay, you're going to again play with the necklace um, and you're going to get that desired look first, okay, and make sure that your hook is always behind your necklace. So you may have to play with your necklace a little bit like I'm doing right now. I need to flip this through. Okay, so if I want one shorter and longer, make sure that hook in. So that's going to look really nice. Have a shorter or longer. If I want to do, you know, maybe a choker. And by the way, if you love any of these necklaces, they are all for sale. So you guys can let me know if there's something you want. But this one's kind of cute because you have this little layer right here of, of little charms that kind of creates this, this choker style right against your neck. Um, but as soon as you can verify, like, okay, here's my hook in right here. You're going to hold the necklace and slide it around, okay? So you're going to have to kind of play with your layers. and But you're going to pinch the two chains together, okay? So you know exactly where you want to hook um, that other hook to the, the chain. So like right here is where I'm going to want to hook here. And of course, it's a shorter style. So it's going to take you having to do this in front of the mirror, okay? Like I'm just using the video camera on my live but you know you can pretend like this is me looking in the mirror which is the same thing and you'll connect it and then rotate it around carefully 
and then it won't move and you'll have that desired look without it without it moving on you okay because you know how many times you guys double stuff up and like one layer moves or you know you and it, it's a totally different look than what you had first wanted right and had created okay so that's how one of these necklaces will look so i want you guys to think outside the box of um your typical like single strand necklace like this that's really basic to the necklaces that you can layer or double up that have a little bit more going on with them like this one it's got all these beads that are um charms right hey danielle um thanks for guys thank you guys for so much for watching these there's so much fun to share with you guys different ways to stylize what you already have um so here's another necklace example. This one is chunkier, right? And I'm gonna show you another way to double up that you guys are gonna be like, I never thought about that, that, that this way. Okay, so again, right, we double up our layer. This is just the easiest way to put it on at first. Um, and I'm like, oh, this is a really great look just like this. Look how cute this necklace is doubled up, right? Creates a completely different look from your one layer, single layer of this longer necklace. Um, again, you're going to pinch the end and you know connect it how you want to um, again you could play with the layers but there is another way okay there's another way of doubling your necklace up that maybe you hadn't thought about okay so i'm going to take this one off um, and show you guys what you can do instead okay you can take your hook end okay here's my hook end right here and here's the other end and you can double it up this way do you see what i just did so i lengthened it all the way out and i doubled it up this way and what i'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hook end, okay, and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to connect it to one of these loops right here. So if it doesn't work for you doubling up the other way, you can double it up this way instead and you hook it this way, okay? So I'm just going to demonstrate with that other simple necklace from the very start, okay, like I did this one because it can create a different look. Now you're not gonna get much of a different look with this one, um, but maybe maybe where these little beads are, maybe you like it better when it's like folded in half. Does that make sense? Because you've lengthened it out this way, here's the hook end, and then you just double it up and connect it there, okay? Right? So it creates a different, uh, this one creates a totally different look than if I just had double layered it up, you know, like this. Okay, so there's different ways of layering your necklace you need to be aware of. You can just wrap it around twice. You can wrap it around twice and you can play with the layers. Now, if you do it this way, you're not gonna be able to play with your layers going shorter and longer, okay? But when you do the, the double wrap around and then you pull one longer, pull one shorter, and then you connect it and it stabilizes those lengths, that's, that's one way of doing it. If you do it this way, you're just doubling it up exactly the same length, so for sure you're not gonna have two layers. It's gonna be doubled, but it's not gonna give you that shorter and longer layer with this way of doing things okay um, but it creates like almost three different looks that you can have or four or five with the one same necklace so i love showing you guys all these ways that you can you can you know change up your style of one piece right so you have all these different ways of wearing the one necklace all right so it gets kind of tricky when you're trying to take it apart because <laughs> i looped it through two different loops on the one side all right, okay. So as I'm showing you guys all the different necklaces that are kind of like this kind of a style, just think about all the possibilities. Like you can layer it this way, you can layer it this way, and it creates different looks, right? Both ways, especially this one where it's not symmetrical at all, right? It's not symmetrical. Um, and so you're gonna get three different looks but by, just by doubling it like that, right? Okay. So another big one is um, a chunkier necklace. So this one's a little bit more um, neutral. Very, very chunky necklace, right? If I put this on, it's really great by itself, but maybe this doesn't really work well with what you're wearing. You need it shorter, you need something thicker, and you're like, oh, this piece is gonna be amazing, right? So if I double this up, I don't know if I can double up too much over my head. Sometimes they just barely fit over. Okay, so if I double it up like that, um, you can see I have this like this piece of chain, right? So um, you're gonna have to really work around. You don't want that chain piece showing, so you gotta find all the chunkier portions. 
and you're just like, okay, that's going to show no matter what, right? You're just like, okay, that's not working. Do you see how this doesn't work for this piece, right? Hence why I really wanted to demonstrate you guys that doubling up effect. It's going to be easier just to take this off this way. Because say you have a piece like this, right, in your collection. Okay, if you double it up this way, you have all the chain on one end. Does that, does that make sense? So all your chain portion is all on that one side. And that's what's going to be um, on the back side of your, your neck, okay? And it's actually going to be kind of cool. So we're going to hook that right there. And now you have all the chunky pieces, ta-da, in the front, right? So <laughs> maybe you tried doubling up your necklaces that are chunkier like this and you're like, that didn't work because I have one long strand of the skinny chain on one end and one showing on the other and I really just want this fun chunky part right here showing and I don't want that other part, in, you know. And so there is your fix. That's why that doubling, you hold it out lengthwise, you double it up and connect it. That's why it works this way. So there's all these different ways of how you can double up your necklaces and you're just gonna have to play with them and see which one works best with which necklace. And like I said, um, like a necklace like this, doubling up works, like all three ways is gonna work with this necklace, right? Um, this necklace, however, folding it in half and then hooking it is gonna work to double this type of necklace. So this is your Tip Tuesday, showing you guys how to double up your necklaces. It's going to immensely increase the wearability of your pieces and how you wear them. And you're gonna just be surprised with what you can do with each of your necklaces. I'm excited, go home, figure out all the pieces that you have that you can double up with, um, which are majority of all necklaces that are single strand. Um, for example, let me just grab a necklace to showcase single strand. So a necklace like this that's already layered, you're not gonna be able to do that with, right? It's because it has three strands, it's not a single strand. Now sometimes you have a single strand necklace, but it's more of a pendant style necklace, which you're not gonna be able to, you could double it up, right? But you're gonna end up with that um, connector in the front. So it's not going to work. Okay. A necklace like this, it won't work on. Um, I've already shown you guys how, um, like a necklace like this that's connected. There's really only one way to wear this type of necklace. Okay. Um, if you have a pendant style necklace, I've already showed you guys how to shorten those ones up. So you have to, you have to realize that not every necklace is going to work on, um, but all the single strand pieces that are longer, you'll be able to double up really nicely. Um, so here you guys are, here's the tip of the day, Tip Tuesday, doubling up your necklaces, and it's gonna be fun to see all the creative ways you are gonna find in wearing all the jewelry you guys have. So thanks for watching.